What is going on guys? Welcome to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jeremy and this is Jeremy's Wild World. As you guys saw from today's title, today's video is going to be a rehousing video and the species featured today is the Hogner carolinensis. An absolutely gorgeous species of true spider that I recommend to anyone that loves the true spiders. All spiders in general, by far some of my favourite. And yeah, so as the title suggests, I'm going to be rehousing it, showing it off today. So I'm showing off a piece of equipment that I purchased that hopefully I'll be using to improve the quality of my videos on YouTube as well as the pictures and the videos I post on Instagram. So I look forward to that. And yeah, so before I get into today's video, guys, I just want to quickly say that according to my YouTube statistics, a lot of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more, click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. Now, without further ado, Let's start off the video by showing you off the spider. So starting off today's video by showing you the specimen I'm going to be rehousing today. This of course being the Hogna carolinensis sling that I own. But before I get into talking about this little one, I just want to quickly say that I am recording somewhere different today if you guys have not noticed already. Now I am recording in a brand new light box I purchased. And if you guys don't know what a light box is, pretty much just a box that improves lighting for photos and videos. And that is the main reason why I purchased it to improve said things. So just a quick little show around of my light box. So I currently have the white background in. These uh, reflective walls or walls or whatever they're called improve the light and keeping the light in. And it has a built-in LED ring at the top. So hopefully using this, I can improve my footage and photos. I have already been showing off some photos I have taken and they look fantastic for an iPhone photo. May get a camera in the future, but that stuff confuses me. So, but yeah, enough about the tech talk. You guys are here for a Hogna Carolinensis rehousing. Now, of course, the Hogna Carolinensis is a true spider species this being a Lycosidae or wolf spider. Now, wolf spiders are definitely some of my favorite species to own. And I'm just gonna pop off the lid here and hope it does not bolt out. Perfect. Now, that's the main reason why I want to rehouse it. It's gone a lot bigger since I purchased it. And if you guys don't know, I did purchase this from the spider shop. And the main reason I want to rehouse it is because it usually bolts out of the tub when I'm trying to feed it or give it some water and everything. And yeah. So the tub's way too small and I definitely want to give it some more space because when feeding wolf spiders, it's fun to watch them chase down prey and everything. So that's the reason why I'm going to be upgrading it today as well, to avoid bolting and give it more space so I can get some footage, hopefully, of it chasing down some prey. Now I have set up the tub off camera and I'm going to be uh, showing you guys that just in a little bit, but I thought I'd get some close-up footage first of this beautiful spider and then we'll get moving on to showing off the tub and rehousing it. So let's get straight into the footage. So what do you guys think? I was really happy with how that footage came out. It really shows off the beautiful colours of this Hogna carolinensis. Looks just grey, but you can see on the fangs of Gisillere, uh, the orange colour and the gorgeous striping along the legs and everything. Absolutely gorgeous spider. And here is the enclosure I'm going to be rehousing in today. So let's give you guys a closer look at what it looks like. So just coming in closer here, as you can see, it's just a little bra plus tub, but I will try to make it look really, really nice and natural. See that Cogna carolinensis are found in grasslands and plains. I tried to make look, it look like it was in a little rocky area within the grassland. Uh, as you can see, I had some leftover cushion moss I put in clumps and dug them into the soil to make it look like little bushes. And I had some sphagnum moss on the side just to give it a little bit more humidity. Um, the substrate is a mix of topsoil and sand. I had some dry bits of topsoil, so I just sprinkled that along the top. And I sprinkled some dried sphagnum moss around as well, making it look like dried up bits of grass. And uh, little bits of pebbles in there as well, giving a nice natural look. And it's called Bark Hide, and I gave it a lot of open space because I do, of course, want to see it chasing its prey around and everything. And it has a retreat to go under. That's the one thing it didn't have in its own enclosure that it couldn't hide away if it wanted to. So now it has the option, it has a nice deep burrow, as you can see, just down there. And of course, a bottle cap for a water dish. And yeah, so let's get some up close footage of this beautiful enclosure and we'll get this beautiful little one rehoused. Now we move on to the final part of today's video, rehousing this beautiful wolf spider. Now as you can see guys, I did catch her off camera just because these spiders can be really, really bolty. 
and I didn't want her to be too stressed out, so I just did it off camera. I really calm and smoothly, and hopefully it'll be an easy recal. So I'm just gonna tilt it like so, and just allow her to walk out. Don't go on the lid, you have a whole enclosure to go into now. There we go. There we go, smooth rehousing. And yeah, so I hope she likes it. As you can see guys, it gives her much more space now. And I'm just gonna zoom in here so you guys get a better look at her. Yeah, she's loving it. Really big enclosure. Hopefully she can stay in here for a little while. Maybe a perf uh, perfect enclosure for when she's fully grown. Not too sure exactly on the size that these guys get to, but assuming that they grow to most um, more spider species, I don't think they'll get too too big so we'll see if she does do another upgrade maybe i'll do it off camera and i'll update you guys on how she does and yeah so that's the end of today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it let's get right into the outro so we've come to the end of today's video what do you guys think i'm really happy with how this enclosure turned out and i'm pretty sure the hogner carolinensis likes it too although being a cheap bra plus tub i think it looked really really nice and really naturalistic and everything and of course as it grows if i do need to upgrade it i will upgrade it off camera and i'll let you guys know i uh, may make a video if i upgrade it into a glass enclosure but we shall see so i'm really really happy and i hope you guys enjoy the rehousing videos too if you do do let me know down in the comments below so that's the end of today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did i'd really appreciate it if you click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss some future content i'd also really appreciate it if you guys were following me on instagram jeremy's wild world underscore as well as jeremy's wild world dot sales I'm really active on Instagram, posting pictures and videos of the animals and inverts I keep when I don't upload on YouTube. But that's all for me today, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>